This is a good one about a person that has a, uh, a young puppy that when they put it in the crate, it screams like a banshee. I'm going to read it because Cindy's had a lot of experience with this. She's, <laughs> we both have had a lot of experience with puppies, at bar raising puppies. Can't even count how many we've had over the years. But she's had Dobermans, I haven't, but I don't think there's any difference in the Dobermans and German Shepherds and the Malinois. A puppy that does this is a puppy that does it. I have a four month old European Doberman puppy. We've done a fair bit of crate training and he sleeps in that at night and really jumps in it with a treat. So the dog doesn't mind going in the dog crate when they toss a treat in there. He doesn't hate the crate, but since day one, when he came home at 10 weeks old, he hates being locked up and not being <laughs> right by you or what interests him. So if he wants to get out and do something, he barks like crazy. That's what he's saying. Barking and throwing a fit since that day he came home, unless he's flat out exhausted and something, and sometimes even then he barks. There is plenty of play, exercise and training, uh, entertainment, etc. He'll nap right by me when he's out of the crate and he's just fine. We will be training in some dog sports, so he needs to learn to be in his dog crate. We agree. I don't let him out when he's, when he's demanding it, but besides listening to the demands for extensive periods of time, unless he gets quieted down, what else can I do? In other words, when the dog is barking its head off and thinks that the longer it barks, the sooner you're going to come and let it out. That's what, uh, that's what this dog has trained his handler to do. Positive training doesn't help. He doesn't hate the crate itself because this is only an issue if he's left and doesn't want to be left. I don't want to create separation anxiety though either, but he can't be with me 24-7, 365. So Cindy's answer is, I'd put him in the crate more often, not less. That's exactly the right thing to do. Since he shows the tendency to want to be right with you. She said, do you have crates in different locations around your house? So you have more than one crate. I would not allow him to nap by you. In other words, she doesn't think, oh, take this dog out, take this puppy out. He'll come over and lay down by my feet and be quiet. No, don't do that. That needs to be the end of that program right there. That puppy needs to learn to be in a crate. Let him scream his head off forever, because eventually he's going to learn that barking doesn't get what he wants. Okay, when they do let him out, it should be after he has been being quiet for a while, but she'll get into that. There are some puppies that need some form of aversion if nothing else works. She says, I've raised many puppies over the years and have bred working line Dobermans, Malawas since the 1980s. She said, I put crates everywhere in my house that I could and just let the demanding one, the demanding puppies bark their head off. Have you tried covering the crate with a blanket or a sheet so they can't see you? That works sometimes. Try different locations for the crate. How about uh, putting the crate in the car? Does he bark there? And this person came back, crating in the car. <laughs> I obviously did it once when he picked him up and he screamed the entire way home. It's an extended cab truck and a full size crate won't fit in there. He is fine in the back seat. I have one of those seat covers and extenders where a little panel that goes between the two seats in the front can be put down and his harness is clipped into his seatbelt. So he actually grab, rides that way great. The house is pretty small, so fairly limited on how many crates I can have around. But I can certainly make better use of his current crate, which is covered in the living room. When he doesn't want to be locked up, it doesn't seem to matter though. Outdoor, playpen, crate covered, in the closed bedroom, crate with my other dog next to him, he'll scream his head off. Okay, let him scream. Bring it on. <laughs> he has a fit if he doesn't really want to be in those various places. 
He practically drags me to his crate when he wants to go in there, though. I feel like he's one who just needs to bark and figure out he's not going to get his way. Ain't that the truth? And a lot of dogs are like this. And a lot of dogs have been trained by the way their handlers have shown to live, shown to live with them. Handlers have trained their dogs to bark in a dog crate because they haven't let themselves bark it out. So 10 years ago, I would have given that, <laughs> I wouldn't have given it second thought to let him bark it out. But there's so much anti-crying it out out there now that I really second guess myself, even though I'm confident as I can be that it stems from just not being where he wants to be, not any true fear or any separating, separation anxiety. So this person's answered their own question. It's exactly what it is. So then he goes on and says, trust your gut. Let this dog bark. Keep using the dog crate. She says, even, even when you may think he does not need to be put in a dog crate, put him in the dog crate. Put him in the dog crate, let him out. Don't let him come and lay by you, okay? The dog should spend a lot of time in the dog crate. When he comes out of the dog crate, take him outside right away. Remember this, puppies poop and pee after they sleep in a dog crate, after they eat, and after they have exercise. Exercise can be marking their head off in the dog crate. So when you bring a dog like this, a puppy like this out, take them directly outside and let them pee and poop. Cindy goes on to say that there are dogs that are smart dogs that think they need to be in the middle of everything that's interesting going on. And if they can't get in the middle, they're gonna bark their head off. Also, she said, if you're gonna be involved in a dog sport, your dog, we would never recommend using one of these harnesses that attaches to a seatbelt. We wouldn't do it. It's too dangerous. I mean, there are places you can go to get dog crates that are gonna fit in the back of almost every pickup. It might be a little bit more expensive, but if you're gonna to go to dog competitions, if you're gonna to go to your dog club, you don't want to go with a dog that's just on a harness. In the end, a little word of warning, your dog may be a four month old puppy now, but if you're gonna do something that really stimulates the dog, let's just use the example of IPO work or, or ring sport work or, or what have you, even nose work, and the dog gets really wild and turned on when it's an older dog, you know how long it takes a dog to rip up a car seat? Not very long. You know how expensive that is? It's a lot more expensive than buying a dog crate that would fit in the back of your car. And I've known people, friends of mine, years ago, who let their dog ride in the back seat of the car and have a car accident and the dog got killed. The person didn't get killed, but the dog got killed. And it was a dog that had a lot of training. Bottom line is we're real sticklers on safety issues with our dogs. We love our dogs and I'm sure he loves his dog, but it's not worth risking your dog's life just because you have a little car. Get a little crate, get a skinny crate. And then this person comes back, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate your time and response, and uh, it's helped me out. I've got some good ideas here. So that's a really good question. It's a common question. There are, it doesn't have to just be, doesn't have to be a Doberman, a working bloodline Doberman. You can have a Shih Tzu, you can have a Border Terrier, <laughs> you can have a German Shepherd, some of them are gonna test you just like this dog tested us. We're gonna put some videos on the end of this one, on videos that we sell that will help you if you're new to raising a dog that you want to be a working dog, or if you're new to dogs and you have this kind of problem. If you have a question on dog training, uh, behavioral problems, uh, breeding, feel free to go to the Ask Cindy portal on the front of Learberg.com.